A growing number of nations, not friendly to the United States, now possess ballistic missiles capable of reaching our deployed forces, our allies, and the United States. The Missile Defense Agency is charged with developing ways to protect us against these threats. The solution employs layered elements to ensure their defeat. This means a defense in depth, attacking the threat at every phase of its trajectory, whether during warhead re-entry, or the earlier mid-course phase in space, or even earlier, during the initial boost phase. And it is here that airborne laser will do its part. Patrolling at high altitude near a region of potential hostile launches, ABL will intercept missiles when they are most obvious, with their bright, easily detectable plumes, and when they are most vulnerable because of dynamic flight loads. ABL's high power laser will strike when the warheads and decoys are still in case, and when the resulting debris from both rocket and warhead is most likely to fall back on those who launched it. Airborne Laser is making impressive progress on its way to demonstrating the lethality of a megawatt class directed energy weapon system. The main subsystems have come together and the weapon system level demonstrations are now underway. ABL is demonstrating the technical performance necessary for an effective boost phase missile kill using unique and revolutionary technologies that have transformational benefits for missile defense. System integration continues on board the airplane a Boeing 747-400F and on its battle management and command and control suite. The airplane has completed initial and expanded airworthiness tests, opening the way to its full flight envelope. It is now undergoing final airframe modifications for installation of the high power laser equipment. The battle management system has now been fully integrated onto the aircraft and tested in flight, including Link 16 data communication capability. Using its infrared sensors, it has demonstrated successful detection and tracking of a ballistic missile during its boost phase. When deployed near regions of potential launches, ABL will orbit at high altitude, mostly above the weather, its sensors on the lookout for enemy missile launches. As a fully autonomous system, its surveillance and trajectory prediction capability will complement and corroborate launch warning from other assets. ABL also has the ability to determine the threat's launch point, enabling a lethal response against it by conventional systems. Airborne Laser is America's high ground in boost phase missile defense, detecting, tracking, and killing threats, taking the battle to the enemy. Getting the lethal laser energy on target is a critical task for ABL, and progress has been exceptional. This function is performed by the beam and fire control segment, which is composed of the nose-mounted turret and the optical benches located in the forward portion of the airplane. This is the equipment for controlling and stabilizing the track, beacon, and high-power laser beams. These elements have proven successful in a series of passive tests, both on the ground and in the air. They are now being prepared for tests in which the illuminator lasers will be activated. In keeping with a low-risk build-test-build philosophy, a simulated turret was first mounted on the nose and then flown, demonstrating success with issues of weight and flight dynamics. Then the team installed the actual beam director, a multi-axis turret containing an extremely precise optical device with a 1.5 meter aperture. This is the muzzle of this powerful laser system. On a series of flight checkouts, it successfully demonstrated its full range of motion. After a missile is detected, low-power lasers compute its range, establish track, and determine corrections for atmospheric distortion, all in preparation to get the lethal high-power beam precisely on target, killing the threat missile in a matter of seconds. The intense beam of thermal energy from the laser, when focused on the threat missile, causes catastrophic damage. Multiple kills are readily handled, all at the speed of light. Progress on the laser system has been impressive. Initially installed within the System Integration Lab, or SIL, a fuselage with the same configuration as the ABL aircraft, Airborne Laser's high-power chemical oxygen iodine, or COIL laser, has achieved the critical milestone of first light. This required the demonstration of coordinated operation of all six laser modules. Since then, the laser has undergone a series of successful test firing to confirm beam quality and demonstrate lethal power and runtime. In addition, 
it has demonstrated its ability to operate at the required flight altitude. The successful completion of laser testing in the SIL paves the way for laser modules to be disassembled and installed in the actual ABL aircraft. The program is now in its next phase, which includes active low-power testing of the beam control system and installation of the high-power laser. Once all components of the system are integrated on board, it will undergo ground and flight tests in preparation for the demonstration against a live missile. The ABL program continues to make impressive progress and meet difficult technical challenges. ABL is the forward element in a multi-layered ballistic missile defense system. It also holds the promise of providing a wholly new and revolutionary set of other capabilities and missions that come with the combination of a high-power laser, a large precision optical system, and a long-endurance, high-altitude aircraft, all readily deployable to anywhere on the Earth. As the major subsystem transitions from the laboratory onto the aircraft, we move closer to when it can demonstrate its key role in freedom's defense. ABL, boost phase missile defense, at the speed of light. <laughs>